Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. Uh, now that the uh, bay liner is done, I spent a considerable amount of time on this piece of junk. <laughs> but it runs really nice now. Uh, we're just ironing the bugs out of it. There's uh, really nothing to write home about. It's uh, running really nice. I've got four hours on it now. And uh, it's running perfect. Now that that's finished, we can uh, dust off the 253 and uh, finish that up. So yesterday I came in and uh, did the head on my friend's engine. Um, he's got a uh, project on the go right now. And I don't know if this will pick it up, but those are 9A90s on a 253. So that should be a really interesting um, project. He's putting it into a uh, Honda wagon. So that should be pretty entertaining. Maybe I'll get some video of it when it's running for you guys. But uh, anyway, the head's all rebuilt. Uh, turned out really nice. Shop did a great job on the valve seats. Um, yeah, so the head's all done. And uh, I'll start on my head now. There it is, all ready to go back into service. Happy times indeed, guys. So I'll do my head next, and then uh, we'll, we'll put it on the engine. And here's my head. Uh, two new valve uh, seats, and then these are the old seats dressed up. So I'm going to take it over to my parts washer, and we'll just wash the uh, chambers out. And wash it all up, get all the metal out of there from the machining. So out with the old. And in with the new. So here's my little tool for the valve seals. It's really for the smaller ones for the four valve head, but it works pretty good on this. So the lube is Lucas Gear Oil.
There, nice shiny valves are in. And as a last uh, measure, I just fill the chambers up with uh, fuel, make sure there's no leaks, and there you have it, that's the valves in. So we're just putting the follower guides in and then the uh, cam followers. Followers have been soaking in oil for months. So again, put the uh, oilers the oil holes away from the, the valves. So, all the oil holes are away from the valves. So there's the top view. Uh, the oil holes are away from the, uh, the valves.
So we're going to put these clips down on the follower springs. Again, there's a proper tool for this. Okay, there it is. So now we have to adjust the uh, follower guides. So the book says you've got to have five thousandths between the legs and the guide, at least five thousandths. Give it a bit of wiggle room. So we just check in here. It just gives those followers a bit of wiggle room. So that's good. Now we'll torque these bolts up. Well, there you have it, guys. Oh, we'll double check the uh, the clearance again, and we're calling that good. Well, we'll have to double check that one. All right, I'll give that a slight tap. There, just to square that up. There.
Perfect. Okay. So it's ready to go back on the engine now. And uh, that's the next procedure. Put this head back down. Happy times, guys. It's almost done. We're almost going to make noise. <laughs> Some more Detroit noise. Our music, as you call it. There, happy, happy. Well, there you have it guys, that's putting the, uh, the head together, putting the valves in, valve seals, and springs and whatnot. So uh, the next step is to bolt it down on the engine. Wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty nice. So here it is here, we'll, uh, we'll pull the covers off of it and, uh, and we'll bolt it down. Bring Alice in to give me a hand uh, putting the head down. So uh, thanks for checking in guys and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.